Hello, today I'm gonna to be sharing some freezer meals with you for the new year. I have five very easy but delicious freezer meals to share with you, and it is not gonna to take too long to put these together. When it's time to prepare, two of them are crock pot meals and two meals, the recipe is doubled. I'm gonna start off by showing you the freezer meal meal plan. We are gonna be putting together some baked penne, some turkey chili. I'm not gonna use turkey in this. I'm actually going to be using beef. Freezer sloppy joes, some chicken fajitas, and red chicken enchiladas. The chicken fajitas are a slow cooker meal and so is the chili. Now I'm gonna show you a little haul of all the items that it is going to take to put these meals together. Okay, for the items that I needed for the freezer meals is a bag of mozzarella, a bag of cheddar cheese. I needed three different colored peppers. I'm assuming this is supposed to be yellow. So I'm gonna have two orange and a red. <laughs> I was hoping it was yellow red and orange but that's okay <laughs> i have some fajita seasoning some penne pasta i have a pack of tortillas a tomato juice two jars of spaghetti sauce a can of pinto beans some green chilies i love the hatch green chilies yum and then kidney beans they didn't have light so i got the dark black beans i'd put in for bushes beans they didn't have that they substituted it for the great value. Two cans of red enchilada sauce and two little cans of tomato paste. To get a little jump start, last night I decided to prep and cook all of the meats to these freezer meals. So I took my pressure cooker out and I put the chicken in my pressure cooker. I added two cups of water with a little chicken bouillon to it and I only cooked it for 12 minutes. The chicken breasts come out perfect. It was very easy to shred. I put them in bento boxes, which I will have linked below, and I let the chicken cool completely before I stored it in the refrigerator for the night. The burger, I needed a total of five pounds of burger. I needed a one pound by itself and then two two pounds together. So I kept them split up as I cooked them. I only added salt and pepper to the burger. And then I put those in bento boxes as well. But with the burger, I labeled each bento box for what it was. So my one pound burger was labeled with a one pound sticky note and my two two pound burgers in the bento boxes were labeled with sticky notes. So that way I know going into the freezer meals, my two pounds and my one pound, and then I have my chicken. All I have to do now is just some light prep work and these meals are gonna come together really quickly. I have gotten my bags out of my pantry and I went ahead and labeled them. So this is chicken fajitas. I have two set out for chili and one for the sloppy joe. I am also going to be using this little bag stand. I purchased this off from Amazon. I'll have this linked below. It holds my freezer bags as I am adding food items to them. Now that the peppers are all cut up, I'm gonna add them to my chicken fajita bag. You can add as much onion as you want to your fajita meal. But now that I have chopped mine up, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the bag of fajitas. The recipe says to use frozen chicken, so you can do it either this way that I'm doing it or use frozen chicken. It's completely up to you. So I put the chicken in with the vegetables and onions. Now I'm gonna take a fajita seasoning mix, or I'm sure you can make your own seasoning if that's what you choose to do. And then you just sprinkle it all over the top of the chicken and vegetables, and it is ready to go in the freezer. When you are ready to cook this, 
You're gonna put it in your slow cooker and you are gonna put it on low for five to six hours. And if you're using frozen chicken, then you're going to shred it after it has cooked through. For the chili, you can do this one of two different ways. The recipe says to put everything in a crock pot and cook it, let it completely cool, and then put it in the bags and freeze it. I already have my hamburger cooked, so I am going to put everything in a bowl, and then I'm gonna split it up between two different freezer bags. So far to the bowl, I have added a can of rinsed and drained pinto beans, and also a can of rinsed and drained kidney beans. To that, I am adding the two pounds of burger that I cooked up, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of sugar, fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, half a tablespoon of chili powder, one cup of water, two cans of tomato paste, 46 ounces of tomato juice. I'm adding some diced onion, and then I'm gonna give this a stir and get it put into my freezer bags. So this chili is really good, very flavorful, and it has a, just a slight kick to it of spiciness. But the best part is that I can just put it into a crock pot and let it cook for the day, and dinner was done. For the Sloppy Joes, in a frying pan, I put in one pound of the burger that I had already scrambled up yesterday, added some onion. Now I'm adding a half a cup of ketchup, tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of yellow mustard, a teaspoon of chili powder, tablespoon of Mr. W sauce, I'm gonna let this cook together and then let it completely cool. Put it in a quart size freezer bag and we are gonna enjoy Sloppy Joes in the very near future. So these Sloppy Joes are so easy to put together and then reheat. Very quick meal comes together in no time and they are very, very delicious. So don't forget to try these, definitely. For the baked penne pasta dish, I have added two pounds of hamburger and one diced onion. To that, I am adding 28 ounces of spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna let this simmer together for a few minutes. I have two eight by eight pans. I have cooked, rinsed, and drained a box of penne pasta. I'm gonna add half to each of eight by eight aluminum pans. I have a 16 ounce container of ricotta cheese. I'm gonna add half to each of these pans. I divided the meat sauce evenly between both pans and spread that over the top of the pasta and ricotta. I've sprinkled two cups of mozzarella cheese over the top of both of these pans. Now I am sprinkling on a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Once these have cooled slightly, I am going to put the lids on top and they are ready to go into the freezer. When I am ready to bake these, I will preheat my oven on 350 for 30 minutes. I forgot to film what it looked like on my plate, so forgive me for that. <laughs> but let me tell you, this is amazing. It is a cross between lasagna and baked spaghetti. It is so good. Very flavorful, easy to prepare, even if you're just preparing it and it not being a freezer meal, it's going to be just as good. I served salad and breadsticks on the side. For the chicken enchiladas, in a bowl I have placed my shredded chicken. This is four skinless boneless chicken broths, a can of rinsed and drained black beans, one can of red enchilada sauce, one can of green chilies, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna mix this all together. I have a pack of flour tortillas. The recipe says to use a third cup of the mixture per tortilla. I'm really not measuring it out. You can if you want to. Then I sprayed my aluminum pan and I put some of the mixture in, rolled them up, and I'm laying them in the pan. The recipe says that this makes eight 
enchiladas. There's still quite a bit of mixture. I'm sure you could freeze this if you wanted to. At this point, I am going to pour the other can of red enchilada sauce over the top. I'm going to cover these and put them in the freezer. I'm gonna write on the cover that I need to bake these on 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. This is the enchiladas fresh out of the oven. Me and Tim already dug in. I took a little taste and they are so good. Look at that, yum. And on top you could put sour cream, you could serve this with Spanish rice whatever you want but yeah these I think are gonna be a keeper they are so good these are the meals I ended up getting I got one meal of the sloppy Joe's chicken fajitas I actually could split that up into two meals if I wanted to I got two of the pastas and one of the chicken enchiladas but with the leftovers from the chicken enchilada I could have easily made two pans of those and I also ended up with two bags of the chili. So that's two meals for chili. I'm very pleased with how many meals I got out of this batch, but in the future, I will know to double some of these recipes. It always feels so good and takes a load off my mind when I stack some freezer meals in my freezer. For those busy days or days where I just don't feel like cooking, I can go and pull one out pop it in the slow cooker or pop it in the oven and I have dinner with little to no effort. So I know my future self is definitely going to be thinking my past self from today. All of these freezer meal recipes are through one website and it is called No Getting Off This Train. All of these recipes are linked below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. If you would like to see more videos similar to this one, just click on the pictures. Mm -hmm.